Welcome to the project Dynamic SME. In this presentation, Paula Dynamica will illustrate the knowledge management tool Knowledge Market to the entrepreneur Victor. Hey Paula. Hey Victor, how have you been? I have come to see you because I have realized that in my enterprise many employees spend a lot of time searching for information. Information that other employees already have for the solution of this very problem. However, Many times there is no connection between the two, so that information is not exchanged. What can I do? Victor, there is a knowledge management tool called Knowledge Market that fits just perfectly for the situation that you are currently in. Interesting. And what is a knowledge market exactly? Okay. A knowledge market is a media which facilitates the exchange of knowledge between buyers and sellers of knowledge, namely the people who search and the people who own this knowledge inside the company. Very good. This doesn't sound very complicated. But Paula, can you tell me what the advantages are of this activity? Victor, one important advantage is that when contacting such a knowledge market, you make the knowledge of all involved people available within the company. As many times only a small amount of people actually possesses this knowledge, sharing it will hold a large advantage for your company. This will result in greater cooperation among your employees, a better working environment and reduce time to complete tasks and activities. And are there any more advantages? Yes, Victor, there are many. Knowledge markets will allow you to resolve problems by using the knowledge of your staff. Furthermore, you will depend less on external sources of knowledge. Also, employees will realize that they are working or looking for information on the same topics. This may lead to the creation of communities, which is a great tool for the facilitation of exchange of knowledge within groups. You convinced me, Paula. But how can I organize such a knowledge market? There are two ways of how a knowledge market can be organized of a virtual platform like the internet or for example an intranet. Also you could implement one in a physical location. A virtual platform will permit you to implement many different types of knowledge markets. It is easier to access and requires less time for participation. It is thus more responsive. On the other hand, in a knowledge market in a physical location, the buyers and sellers are physically present. There you have two options, the preset or spontaneous type. And could you tell me a little bit more about these two options? Of course, Victor. When implementing a preset knowledge market, you have to decide, with the help of your stuff, which are topics of interest and the questions or problems that need to be discussed under an overall topic. Later, you have to organize stands and tables at which, for each topic, questions or best practice will be discussed in relation to the overall topic. When performing a spontaneous knowledge market, however, there are no predetermined overall topics. In this case, it is indispensable to talk to the instructor beforehand, who will take care of putting up two boards, one on each side of the room, one with the title offer and the other demand. The participants will write down their respective offers and demands on paper cards together with their name and put them on the appropriate board. The instructor will ask the buyers of knowledge to make contact with the sellers. The participants who find answers to their question have to move their cards with their request from the area demand and add them to the respective offer. And Paula, what are the essential points you would recommend me when considering to contact a knowledge market? Something you definitely have to consider in order to have success during the implementation of the knowledge market are points like the proper valuation and reward. Hmm, okay. And are there any rules to keep in mind? Yes, Victor. Let me tell you about a couple of them. Bring together people who share a common interest. Otherwise, the creation and transfer of knowledge between participants may stop. Lastly, it is important that the supply and demand of knowledge are concisely and explicitly formulated. Thank you very much for your help, Paula. 
you're welcome Victor. And if you need more information, I have some interesting links here for you. Or you may also access the information on the homepage of Dynamic SME, which also helped me to implement the Knowledge Management Tool.